Hello everyone, this is Jeff from Tal Flater Mouse, and we've got another episode of You Make It, We Shoot It, where viewers send in their designs and we shoot them and film them and see how they perform. And today we have shotgun slugs made out of solid brass knobs. That's right. While I have no idea what these originally looked like, they were turned down to the proper dimensions for a 12 gauge shotgun by a viewer named Evans. Thank you very much, Evans. And of course, he and his wife also have an Etsy page as well as their Facebook page. Now these are one ounce slugs or 28 grams if you live on the continent. And on the base we have a steel washer. This is a support disc which gives the wadding something solid to push against. Okay, let's head on out to the test range and see how these perform. All right, today we're gonna be shooting the Golden Goblin. What's it made out of? It looks like brass and it looks like a knob to a cabinet or a drawer. But it it's one ounce and it it's as wacky as you could possibly get, but hey, it may work really well. It's true. Okay, load it up. <laughs> wow. Now we normally start out shooting the dummy with the Kevlar vest on. This allows us to see how accurate the slugs are and if we need to move in closer or anything like that. But it also is a great way to capture the slugs so we can see what kind of condition they are when they were shot. Now we can see that there's a bunch of the plastic wadding still attached to the base, but uh, you can see that the washer just wasn't strong enough to withstand that intense force. It was really just pushed out of shape and really distorted. Ready? Yep. Once again we see the plastic wadding stuck to the back of the slug, yet despite all that the slug was still quite accurate, hitting the center of that 7 inch lead disc. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Darren got stung by a bee. Yeah. Had to pull the stinger out. Oh, wow. It almost went through. That's impressive. It chunked it out. I don't think we can get it out of there. Not that easily. It's embedded pretty good. Oh my gosh. That's a good shot. Ready. Wow. Right through it. Like it wasn't even there. I was really hoping this capacitor was full of some kind of oil or something like that and make a big, uh, big spray mess or something like that. But unfortunately, it was mostly hollow, much to my surprise. And uh, you can see the slug was tumbling once again, but still accurate enough to hit that little capacitor. Anyway, a friend of mine named Matt, who's in previous videos, gave us this to shoot a long time ago. And I just want to say good luck with your move to New York, buddy. Are right, ready? I'm ready. I like these. <laughs> yeah. They say you can't aim. Now this may be a pretty small engine, yet it's a pretty tough engine, especially in that location right there. Right behind there is the crankshaft, and uh, I don't know if anything could actually get through. I don't know if a 50 cal could go through that. Now Dara shook the engine out, and we found these pieces inside there. That's a fragment of the slug. It obviously hit something very hard in there, and then that washer once again. And Finally, we've got this gigantic computer hard drive that Darren found somewhere, and uh, this thing is the biggest hard drive I've ever seen, and it's only 47 gigs. Now, I'm really curious how much this hard drive cost when it was new. It was probably something like $10,000. If someone can find out, let me know. 
Time to format a hard drive. Format it. That's <laughs> Hillary's hard drive right there. Old school from the <laughs> early Clinton administration. Now, unfortunately, that washer just wasn't strong enough to withstand the intense g-forces and shock and pressures from being shot of a shotgun but the slugs were very consistent as far as accuracy goes despite all that it was still an enjoyable slug to shoot because they were accurate how many discs are in that thing look down there it's a ton oh my gosh we got a ton of those in there but the bullet went on through it went through huh oh it did Problem is nothing slowed her down a lot, so it was hauling some butt. Ah, bionic! Look at all those hit discs in there. It's like twelve. And there you have it. Thank you very much, Evans, for submitting these slugs for us to shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.